Hey, good morning. It's Mike Shunker with Berkshire Hathaway Homes and Ship from Properties in Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, what a Friday, May 31st. Um, Friday morning market chat with Mike. Uh, let's see here. You know, this business is funny. If you asked me Wednesday, actually I had a meeting Wednesday, and I would have said things are pretty slow. But then all of a sudden, the last two days, the uh, phone was ringing and uh, Mike, get me out of this property. Mike, let's go get this property. So all of a sudden we're busy. Um, it's, it's fun. That's what I like in, uh, in this business is we kind of do things a little bit different and uh, you know, work with our clients to get them where they need to be. But anyway, inventory. You may hear the headlines, inventory is increasing. I just checked uh, about a half an hour ago, multiple listing service. Uh, down 51 uh, single family detached homes. Maricopa County is down 23. In Scottsdale, we're down six. That's the fourth down week of inventory in Scottsdale. There's 1,298 single family detached homes in Scottsdale. That's the lowest amount of available properties since January. So we're supposed to have the spring season and you know, people just aren't selling their properties. Understandably, that's, you're always gonna have the death, divorce, and those people that need to move, but you know, people are sitting still. They're stuck in their three, 4% mortgages, and that's not gonna end anytime soon. So, you know, they wanna blame interest rates on the, uh, we had pending home sales yesterday. That's where I wanted to go with that. Uh, pending home sales down 7.4% nationwide in April. That's after down 7.4%. 0.7% in March. So it's overall the residential markets just kind of grinding through it. People that need to make a move are moving. Like I said before, there's price houses out there that are priced way too high and the ones that are priced correctly are selling over asking price. The one somewhere right over there, uh, they asked $999.99. They just closed uh, yesterday at just over a million dollars. So Price it right, get the multiple offers, and get it sold. So, uh, you know, we're pretty good at value, ev evaluating valuations, I guess, valuing properties. So uh, we're in the market every day. We see what happens. Um, you know, 6.4% four, 6 of listing had price cuts. So here in Scottsdale and the Phoenix Valley, we're heading into the summer months. It can get pretty quiet, not as much as it used to be because it's more of a global in and out, a lot of companies coming here, uh, so it's more steady. I think it has made the market more steady in the Phoenix area. We don't have those big seasonal swings, but we do notice a little bit. So a lot of price, a lot of overpriced properties that need to sell before going in the summer, we're seeing price cuts. If you see one you like and you're just waiting for them to price to for the price to drop, don't wait. Make an offer. Just get in. Let's have a conversation. That's the best way to get the ball rolling. Let them know you're interested. We can make verbal offers our day, all day, and I get verbal offers on properties. And, you know, put it in paper. Let's see if we can actually get to the end zone. So, uh, residential's grinding through it. Uh, actually, we've got to hopefully write two offers today. I just got off the phone. Uh, we're going to open negotiations on a property. We've got a $365,000 uh, rental property. Um, if you want to make $2,000 a month off a $365,000 investment, it's not bad. It's a single family home over in Phoenix. So we're going to get that on the market here the next couple days. Uh, let's see, commercial. There was a big land auction in Northwest Phoenix. I'm sure you, if you pay attention, you've heard of it. Up by the TSMC plant, Mac Real Estate Group out of New York paid 56 57, 56 million uh, dollars for 2,300 acres. They are going to build a gigantic technology park. Um, they've got to spend a hundred, hundreds of millions. Of, they've got to bring the infrastructure in. It's raw desert right now. It was state land. So that's going to bring 50,000 jobs to the Northwest Phoenix area. So when you're looking for your investment properties, know that that's there. That's going to affect that whole area. It's pretty desert right now, except the Shell gas station guy. I, I admire him. He, uh, he had the foresight to open that up. I just drove by it the other day. Um, he's booming. So uh, let's see, South Mountain, they just rezoned 300 acres. They're going to put a planned community in there. And Mesa, a lot of businesses coming into Mesa. We were in Mesa last night looking at some houses uh, with the client. Um, just under a million dollars. If you asked me 10 years ago, 
that uh, Mesa would have million dollar homes. I would have said you're crazy, but there's some nice homes there now and it's, it's popular, you know, just the outlying areas are really starting to see some growth. As companies come in, people, people need a place to live. So uh, MOEZ, they are waiting on their permits. They're gonna open July 1st, I believe. Uh, don't quote me on that, but they still have like uh, one unit available. Um, it's like an edible arrangement. It's ready to go if you're, that's the type of business you wanna open. So uh, give me a shout, I'll put you in touch with them. And um, you know, a lot of people are waiting for commercial real estate prices to come down because commercial real estate is financed short term, two, five, 10 years at the most. And with rates higher, a lot of the building owners and the property owners need to refinance that. Banks don't wanna hold real estate. Banks are gonna renegotiate those loans. I don't think we're gonna see that drop like everybody thinks they are. I could be wrong, but uh, banks don't want to hold real estate. Uh, they're going to renegotiate those loans and, you know, they'll get the cap rate up a little bit. In commercial and investment properties, it's all in the numbers. If everything pencils out, it's a good deal. If it doesn't, pass. Phoenix uh, land, you know, a lot of land is not penciling out right now. The asking prices are too high. So builders are having a hard time uh, finding land to build on. So if only the big, the big builders bought up a lot of it, but there's still some available. Excuse me. Um, yeah, we met with a, reconnected with an old contact, a financial advisor from Merrill Lynch. And uh, they've got a program now for um, professionals. You know, some of you know, my wife and I owned uh, health and wellness chiropractic offices back east. And when we went to sold, sell the business, we didn't own the real estate. We were, we were young, we didn't know better, and uh, it took a hit. We still did pretty well with uh, selling the business, but if we owned the real estate, we would have done very well. So uh, Merrill Lynch, uh, Steve over at, uh, he's a financial advisor over there, he was telling me about this new program they have. If you are a doctor, dentist, a young, young professional, and you wanna buy the building that you're in, They've got some pretty good programs and great rates. So uh, give us a call. We'll give you, put you in contact with them. And that's kind of what we do. We have a network and we build, find solutions for our clients. So on to the economy. We had personal consumption expenditures this morning. That reflects changes in prices of goods and services that, can, that were purchased by consumers. 2.7% this morning, as expected. Bonds came down a little bit, uh, which surprised me. Um, doesn't mean prices are dropping of consumer goods. It just means that they are not increasing as fast as they have been. Uh, still, uh, is that going to indicate inflation is slowing? I don't know. You know, Neil Kashkari, he's a respected uh, financial guy. He's actually the, the Minnesota Fed president, or he's with the Minnesota Fed. He says rate hikes aren't off the table. So... After this morning numbers, bonds down, you know, people are starting to, nobody really knows, you know, they, you can make a case for rates coming down, you can make a case for, case for rates coming up. Kevin O'Leary made a good point the other day. Without getting political, if you are a foreign investor, do you really want to put your money in the United States bonds right now with all the circus going on? I don't care where you stand politically, we... We work with the clients on both sides and uh, actually a good, uh, good client who's become a friend up from Washington. We like to, to poke each other a lot, uh, tease each other about politics. But if you're a foreign investor, do you really want to put your money in the United States right now? I, I don't know. You know, it's, he made a good point. That demand goes away, bond prices come down, rates go up. You know, you can't time the market. It is what it is. So, you know, you look, focus on yourself. Everything else is just noise. If the numbers work for you, residential, commercial, investment, if the numbers work, let's do it. Let's either buy it or sell it, whatever you got to do. And that's where our experience comes in, our business experience and our economic. We can look at the deals and say, does that work? Does that make sense? Uh, one of the deals I just got off the phone with, you know, it's, they're afraid of paying too much for this property. And I said, well, hopefully you call me in two or three years and we want to sell that property. And I don't ever want to be the person who told you you paid too much. So it's my job to protect you. You know, I facilitate, educate, and advise our clients. 
And it's my job to protect you, make sure you get a good deal. Anybody can buy or sell real estate this day, these days, but you know, you gotta know the market. There's a lot of pieces involved. Arizona is not like the, like the East Coast. East Coast attorneys handle all the transactions. Arizona, we write the contracts. Um, not com commercial, we have attorneys involved, but in residential, we write the contracts. So it's my job to protect you and um, get you the best deal on the buy or sell side. So we're here to help. Let us know. Uh, like I said, all of a sudden, we've got a crazy day. So uh, we got a lot going on. So uh, anyway, give us a shout if we can help you buy or sell residential, commercial investment. We're here. If you have a question, if you need help working through a deal, that's that's where we kind of shine is find, looking for solutions. So have a great weekend. Be smart, be safe, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye.